Hallelujah. Facebook Live. We are once again uh, in conference line. Uh, this is Watchman Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann, on the uh, uh, morning scripture study on this 29th, 29th day in um, July. Yeah, 2018. <laughs> That's how serious it be. Um, we're going to we get ready to get in the word once again, y'all. Turn with me to Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 11 chapter, 1 Corinthians 11 chapter. And let's, let's start off, let's start off with a prayer. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you humbly as we know how. Ask you to show them, show I'll do what only you can do. Send a relevant word to this here, your people, that we may grow thereby. Cause your word to be plain. Cause to come with authority and truth. That we may grow thereby and walk circumspectly and pleasing in your sight. We trust and believe that this will happen in the master's name of Yahushua Mashiach. We come to pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all. Amen. What's up, Trenda? Trenda, good to see you on. Young lady, whoever just chimed on the line, just, yeah, mute your phone as you chime in, please. <coughs> We're going to uh, 1 Corinthians 11 chapter, so let's go. Y'all hit your friends list now. Shalom, sis. 1 Corinthians 11. Hallelujah. Let's get it in, let's get it in. It's 11. Let's, and let's start. Uh, the 24th verse, right? 11 and 24. Terry Jones, bless you. Thanks for chiming in. I'll hit your friends here. 11 and 24. Yeah, 1 Corinthians 11 and 24. Look what it says. It says, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup. And when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show forth the Mashiach's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup, drink this cup of the Mashiach unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Mashiach. But let every man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Mashiach's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of Yah, that we should not be condemned with the world. Can I ask you a question? Arrow, arrow. We're going to get it in. Can I ask you a question? Sure. <laughs> okay. When you drink, eat and drink from the blood nowadays, you're condemned? I'm about to teach them. Okay. And then if you still have that same question. I will. Ask them. You probably won't. Probably won't. If I teach it right. Right. But if you do, it's all good. Okay. Mill House. What's up, nephew? Thanks for chiming in, son. I was going to call you uh, this morning, actually, so I'm glad you chimed in. Alina, bless you. Hello. Morning. Mother Don, bless you. Um, so here we go. It says, um, uh, take, uh, take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in memories of me. For as often as you do this, do this again in remembrance of, of me. Um, 
we gotta we gotta remember we gotta remember what this thing is all about and what it cost for us to participate. A, a carnal mind alludes like shy away from the responsibility of carrying what they call the gospel. The carnal mind shies away from it, right? But we got to be sober-minded. The Word told us to be sober-minded. In fact, he's drawing a picture right here is symbolically, you know, he took some bread and he broke it and said, you know, this is my body. I'm, I'm, I'm about to be broken for you. In other words, I'm going to die. How serious is that? That's serious. When you think of a a cracker, are you kidding me right now? Folks, folks, equate that to a cracker. No, this is serious. This was symbolism at its finest. His body was about to be broken. He was about to be murdered. He was going to allow the murder. He said, they didn't take my life. I gave it. He was about to be murdered. And he was about to die a, a, a brutal death. Brutal. Why? See, what, because of trying to get a house in a car? Because Satan has crept in and changed like what life is all about to us? We've been we've been poisoned. We're chasing after things that are so secondary, last dairy, it ain't even funny. We're, we've been Catholicized, we've been Christianized. We're religious, and there's enough going on to keep us so occupied that we don't look at the real picture. And we look at church, <laughs> a gathering is a social club filled with sinners saved by grace, so we think. So a bunch of wicked people gathering with a bunch, with, with, with a, come on, y'all, with, 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 with a bunch of rituals, ceremonies. When he said, this is my body. He took some bread. This is my body. It has nothing to do with a cracker first. But anyway, this is my body. Unleavened bread. He took it. He broke it. But his point was, I'm about to, not only did I live the life for you, but I'm about to be murdered for your sins. About to die on a tree for your sins. Period. And, and, and as often as you do this, do, do this in memory of me. See, and then he explained in Yachanan 6 or John 6 that he's the true bread that came down from heaven, which is the word. So he's going to have a conversation with you, right? He, he, he's going to represent the word to you. The word was made flesh. The body is fixed to be broken. The body is going to be broken so you can partake in the word. The most high is now going to have a relationship with you. Then he, took, then he took some wine. It wasn't no Welch's grape juice either. But he took some wine. They were having the feast of unleavened bread, y'all. He took some wine and he drank, said, this is my blood. Symbolism. It wasn't no doggone blood. Some wine. They had dinner. They're kicking it. Mm -hmm. but, 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 but he took it and he drank it. He said, okay, you used to be up under Torah. You used to be under the Old Testament. You used to, you used to worship me. Uh, according to a carnal commandment that was sanctified, the contract was signed by the blood of animals. But now I'm about to sign a new contract. That's why I call it the New Testament, will and testament. The Most High was, was signing a new contract, a spiritual contract, not a carnal contract governed by carnal commandments. It's a spiritual a uh, uh, responsibility. He took it and he drank the cup, said, this is my blood. As often as you drink it, do it in remembrance of me. Remembering what? That I died so you can have this. Hallelujah. This is serious. This ain't no doggone video game and trying to make more money, trying to outdress one another, a bunch of carnality. Bless you, Derek. That's, that's, not, that's not what this thing is about. This is some serious business. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Do what? Did you know uh, 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 communion, the definition of communion is fellowship? 
where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm in the midst. That's the communion he talks about because he's the true bread, the word. Man does not live by bread alone, talking about natural bread, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yah. The word. So, if you look at the symbolism and tie it to what really happened, he was murdered. He's drinking some wine that represent my blood is going to be spilled. It was an awful murder. Because we should have been the ones to die. But he was murdered in our place that we could be partakers of having a true relationship with him. Get caught up in all this stuff and lose sight. Some of us want a relationship so bad, we lose sight. We sell our souls. Somebody want, want, want money so bad, we lose sight. Y'all can't use us. Y'all cannot trust us. Because we're carnal and we're earthly. Word teaches that we don't, we don't entangle ourselves with the cares of this life that we might please him that has chosen us to be a soldier. But when you get consumed by this world, he can't even use, you can't even be trusted. You can't be trusted because you're going to mess around and get lonely. You're going to want to get high. You're going to be mad because you can't go to the club. You ain't got the, you ain't got the new car. You ain't got the new rims. You ain't got the new shirt. You want to travel more. Carnos, I don't know what. The Mashiach, the man, this man sat here, let you know, see this bread? They're going to break me so you can be saved. Murder me. It has been reduced to a, a, a service with some little crackers and a cup of wine with, with, with number symbolism. And get that cracker out of my dog on face. Get all these rituals up out of here. We not we don't we're not governed by carnal commandments no more. We have we have we have understanding and all thy getting get understanding. What he really was saying. Too many scriptures are proving who he was. The scenario hasn't changed from from relationship to religion. When you religious, you looking for a little cracker and some doggone little little flask of of, 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 of Welch's grape juice. You 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 don't even get it. You, you dealing with him according to commandments written on stone when his commandments should be written in your heart with revelation. That loving him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength and loving your neighbor as yourself is the fulfillment of the ten. Take the commandments off the stone and put it in your heart. And if you love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, love your neighbor as yourself, you fulfilled all the law and the prophets. But when you carnal, you're looking for ten commandments on stone. When you corner, you're looking for a little cracker and, and some grapefruit juice and on first Sundays, oh, come on, y'all. Yeah, you wearing white? Oh, man, miss me with all that. Come on. Come out of this Catholicism. Wake up. Look what it said. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, this do in memory of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when, when he had uh, supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament, and uh, uh, testament in my blood, of uh, this do ye as often as you drink it in memory of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show forth uh, my death uh, till I come. As often as you, the word is going forth. And you're partaking in the new contract, the new covenant, the new relationship. You're, you're doing this until I come get you. In other words, you remember what he did for you. you you're not a forgetful hearer. You remember what he did for you, and you're not a, a, a double agent. You're meditating in the word both day and night so you can be like that tree planted by the rivers of water. You're not a forgetful hearer. Because a double-minded man is unstable in all his way. When the word go forth, you get convicted. Then you leave, forget about it. Now you're upside down getting spanked by somebody that ain't your spouse. You forget and go drunk. You get, you get to cussing folks out. You get to being disrespectful. You, you, you forget the covenant agreement. You forget that you used to be a devil. You used to be a heathen. 
used to run around here wicked and the gospel came, what they call the gospel came, convicted your heart and proved to you that you was going against the most high and you were supposed to repent. That's why he say do it in remembrance. You can't have amnesia in this race because you forget what he did to get you in the situation you in. Folks run around here, don't, he can't, he can't use you when you like that. This is serious business. If, if, if the word was made flesh, the word came down, 42 generations, became a human being to rescue us. We get rescued and then we forget what it was all about. And then we want to get unrescued and go back to our old lifestyle. That's why I say, uh, as often as you do this, which is as often as you come together, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. As often as you break the bread of life. Do this in remembrance of me. As often as you drink of the blood, you remember the fact that he died so you can have a relationship. You're not a forgetful hearer. You're going to remember it. You're going to reverence it. And you're willing to lay your life down. Folks ain't willing to lay their life down. They lay their life down. Give me my life back. I'm finna go to the club. Give me my life back. I'm feeling sorry for myself. Give me my life back. I don't want to go through this. In Israel, man, you've been getting a foot up your behind for over 400 years now. And, I, and I'm just talking about this particular captivity. I'm not even talking about the Syrian captivity and the Babylonian captivity. The Greeks got you. I'm not talking about all that. I'm talking about it, since you've been shipped into slavery, you're still trying to kick it in a place that hates you. You're still being punished. Ezekiel 37 said, can these dry bones live? Because you've been dogged the heck out. But you're so carnal. Just like in Egypt. We were shipped into Egypt. A form of an Egypt. Revelation speak of a spiritual Egypt with the two witnesses. The two witnesses was uh, uh, in a, a spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Revelation teaches. So when, 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 when the children of Israel were shipped into Egypt, it's, it's a system. You shift in Egypt and, and you so twisted like your forefathers was that, th that when they went in the wilderness and had to depend on the most high, they wanted to go back. And you got folks that believe that they're American citizens. You ain't, Legally, you, you're still three-fifths of a, of a human being. You fill all the prisons. They dog you. They hate your guts. And they mount up to kill you now. Why are you trying to keep up with the Joneses? Try, try to make a bunch of money. Don't want to serve y'all because you want somebody rubbing on you. You, 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 you. He said as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. You can't forget. But he know how to make you cry out. Don't get it twisted. He know how to deal with you. Do not do not get it twisted. When he come for Israel, all he got to do is turn up the heat. <laughs> All he got to do is turn up the heat. And that's exactly what he going to do. Turn up the heat. When we was in the Egyptian captivity, when we were in Egyptian captivity, uh, uh, all, all, all they did was just turn up the heat. That's it and that's all. Just turned up the heat. And they start crying out for the most high. And now we so churchy, that we need the heat turned up on. Now we so carnal. We need the heat turned up on us. Don't get it twisted. Please don't get it twisted. The most high is coming for Israel. And he definitely going to turn up the heat. You're wise when you repent yourself. But I, I ain't going to get uh, uh, beyond the scripture. We're going to keep dealing with this. This. All right. Still. We still in 1 Corinthians 11. Thank you, baby. Uh, 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 um, he said, uh, 25, after the same manner also when he took the cup and when he had supped, saying, this is the cup, this, this cup is the New Testament in my blood, this do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this uh, bread and drink this cup, you do show forth uh, 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 the Mashiach's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup 
of the Mashiach unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Mashiach. Y'all heard that? So it's not talking about a cracker. We're not talking about a cup of Welch's drink. It's talking about his body being broken. He got murdered for you to be able to have a relationship with the Most High. Because that's how serious it is. Did you know the way of sin is death? Did you know life is hard because of humanity's disobedience to the Most High? Poverty, disease, sickness, including a funeral, is all results of the wickedness of his creation. Mankind turned on him. Then he ordained a particular people to represent him, and they turned on him. He's still married to him. He's married to the backslider. But those that were in covenant agreement with him, that turned on him, he shipped them jokers into the four corners of the earth into slavery, dogging them the heck out. And they have amnesia. They don't know who they are, but he's waking them up to who they are and the responsibility that they have on their life. You got some folks that don't belong to him like that. They can be grafted in according to Romans 11 chapter or the whole Torah teaches this, right? But they can be grafted in through the same ingredient that grafted uh, Abraham in, and that's through faith. But you got a people, whether they repent or not, they still belong to him. And since they belong to him and he has a covenant agreement with Abraham, he going to tear their butts up. Keep screwing if you want to. Keep lying if you want to. Keep clubbing. Get drunk high. You ain't got to come to service. You ain't got to obey him. Get your little money. Spend it. Go to Great America, doggone it. Go to Hawaii. Kick it. He going to kick your dog on behind if you belong to him. You ain't getting away with nothing. It's true. You're not getting away with nothing. And he showed his love for Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Look how friendly that sounds. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. You stop right there. Gave his only begotten son. What the heck that mean? Gave his only begotten son. You want to know what that mean? That means when he took that bread and broke it, that means he's going to get murdered. He came down 42 generations to be born of a virgin, fashioned as a man. He was humble. He obeyed the Most High 100% and then was murdered. In your place, we did the wickedness. He was killed. Scripture sound friendly and we wanted to stand sound friendly because we want to be peaceful as we go to the club and sin. We want to, I don't, I don't need all this. I just want to smoke my joint, you know, drink me a little gin. I know you're going to spank me up tonight, cat daddy. <laughs> I don't need all this negativity. We have amnesia. We have amnesia to knowing that the ways of sin is death. This place is super wicked and it's being destroyed because of sin. And the Messiah came to rescue his children because it's fixing to go down. And we can put it in, it's, it's about to go down. If you have any sense and you're awake, you already know it's already going down. Yes. Not only is it already going down, it had already went down. But when you sleep, you don't, you, -uh, you want to get money. You try to buy a house. <laughs> you try to buy a house, you know what I mean? You want some checker vans. That's what you want. Oh, look at the checker pants. You want some checker pants. You, you want a bigger TV. You want, you want, ooh, this, 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 this couch do not go with this carpet. That's what you want. When you wicked as heck. When your surroundings wicked. And when the paycheck for wickedness come visit your house. Then you want to sit around and cry. You want to sit at the funeral and cry. As if you and the most high is good like that. You need to find you a lying preacher that's going, that's going to preach your loved one into heaven, knowing they went to hell. You, you and the family will jump that joker if he told the truth. Y'all whoop him and be a double funeral if he told the truth. Because he said, look, I, he took some bread, he broke it. That's how serious this thing is. I'm going to be murdered. You want to go kick it? I'm dead. Okay? I'm dead for those that believe. Because he said, as often as you do this, do this in memory of three. He said, and, and if you do it, and you do it unworthily, you're going to be guilty of killing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like to blame uh, Adam, right? Don't we? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, if he wouldn't have did that, you do the same thing. The same word he went against is the same word that was made flesh in John 1 and 14. The same word that Adam went against came down and reintroduced himself to us. And we did the same thing. He came unto his own, his own received him not. He came down 42 generations, landed in Jerusalem with his children. Came unto his own, and they said, kill him, crucify him. <laughs> Let his blood be upon us and our children, is what we told him. He said, okay. About 30-some years later, that's when Rome hit Jerusalem. That's when he warned him in Luke 21. He said, when you see Jerusalem encompassed about with armies, get the heck up out of there. And if you're out there, don't come back in because it's going down. And about a million Hebrews ran into Nigeria, nigger area, Nigeria, to hide out. I know you think nigger is a bad term, but we, I'm a nigger. I'm going to tell you that now. Mm -hmm, I'm a Negro. They used to put it on the birth certificate as Negro, but they don't want you to know you really are a Negro. They just turned it real negative. Hey, nigger. They made it sound terrible, and they treated us terrible, but we really are from Niger, Nigeria. We from that area? Um, 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 uh, 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 the Middle East uh, is Northeast Africa, and they changed the name to the Middle East during World War II to throw you off. Yeah, I'm a nigga. The N word. Yep, yeah, baby. Negroes. The Messiah was a Negro. The disciples, the apostles was Negro. But you got you to gotta study, but at the end of the day, he came to them Negroes, and they said, kill him. Let his blood be upon us and our children. <coughs> and Excuse me, y'all. And about 30-some years later, they were shipped into slavery, lost their identity, got jacked for their identity. Because in the same book in Luke, when he warned them, he said, then Jerusalem is going to be trodden down under the foot of the Gentiles. And if you look at who's over there right now, it's the Ashkenazi Jew, fake Jew. And the word said it. We didn't know it because they, they were the one teaching us. They ain't going to tell you that. But they're over there pretending to be us. That's why Revelation 2 and 9 say, I know them that say they are Jews and they're not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Yes. Wicked folks who jacked us for our identity, hate us, and they have, they, they, they've been killing us and they plan to do it again. They're setting us up while I'm preaching. And we too busy trying to get paid, trying to get laid. Trying to ignore him. Trying to find out how we can go to heaven and still stay a devil. A double agent. Well, he, uh, when, when, he, when, when, when he was dealing with the Corinth church uh, assembly, he, he, he told them, look, 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 y'all got it all wrong. Y'all bringing food up in here, getting drunk. If we would have read more, but if you read the whole thing, y'all getting drunk. Because they didn't do the fake church stuff with the little wine and the little... The little Welch's dream and the little, little cracker. They, they, they was really having the last supper. They was having the meal. And he said, do that at home. Then he reminded him when he took the bread and he broke it. He said, he's going to be broken. He's going to die. When he took the wine and drank it, he said, this is the, 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 my blood in the New Testament. In the new contract that I'm making with you, I'm taking you from up under the carnal uh, contract and bringing you into a spiritual contract so they that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. And as often as you come together, because that's what a, a communion really means, fellowship, as often as you come together, we're going to talk about it. How you living. That's, that's what we're doing right now. We have a communion. And if you keep reading, which we are, he said, and he that uh, eateth and drinketh unworthily shall be guilty of killing me because you scandalous. The word came, gave you a shot at eternal life, the word came and it's proved that I came down 40 generations, tried to rescue you, and you looked at it and it spit in my face. <coughs> he, he did a comparison analysis with the Pharisees and Sadducees. They followed him, sweating the heck out of him, right? And he said, he that blaspheme against me. You want to keep following me, right? And, and going against my ministry, he said, okay. He that blaspheme against me, uh, uh, it's cool. That's cool. I came for you to blaspheme. And blaspheme means to go against. But he that blasphemes against me, the son of man, you shall be forgiven. But he that blasphemes against the Ruach HaKadosh, which is the word, which is the spirit of the most high, cannot be forgiven in this world, neither in the world to come. So he did a comparison analysis from going against a man, even a man that represents the most high. 
as opposed to going directly against the word. If you go against the second opportunity to receive the word, you're not going to be forgiven in this world, neither the world to come. Do you? You ain't never got to come. You ain't never got to read. Man, go on to be religious. Continue to have a form of yachting that's denied the power they up. But best believe, baby, you're going to pay for it. This is so not a game. <laughs> All that church stuff. Man, miss me. All that church stuff, having a form of Yahweh and denying the power thereof. Look what he said. He say, um, 26, right? For as often as you eat this bread, talking about the word, didn't he say, I'm the, a true bread that came down from heaven? He's the word, right? As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show forth the Mashiach's death till he come. Wherefore, mute your phone. Whoever's on there, please mute your phone on the conference line. Look what it say. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Messiah unworthily, you ain't going to judge yourself. You can keep doing you, right? Shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Messiah. And let a man examine himself, so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. So while the word is going forth, you should have enough sense to be honest with yourself. Because the word is what determines who is of the devil and who's of Yah. Period. There is no in between. The word itself will come and it's going to knock on the door of your heart. He said, if you open, he said, first you got to hear. And if you hear, if you open and let him in, he said, I'm going to sup with you. I'm going to break the bread of life with you. I'm going to give you eternal life. Because that's what gives you eternal life, what Yah say. But if you go against what Yah say, then that's what gives you eternal death. So he comes to break the bread of life with you, to talk with you. And if you're wise, you'll examine yourself. See, when you go to a fake church, you ain't got to examine yourself. This is going to sound good. Boy, they sung. Boy, that boy was on them drums. You see him? <laughs> boy, I love that song. Did you see the pastor's shoes? I told him I was going to get them. He a hater. Got him first. Did you see his wife? Mm -hmm. That girl got booty. <laughs> what they cooking? I hope that scandalous so-and-so ain't in there cooking. I'd hate her potato salad. Church. Yeah. Yeah. Church. Uh -huh. Hurry up, man. Dude got fat sacks. Better hurry up, man, before you sell out. Remember last time we got a church, he was out. Church folks. He said, remember. As often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. Remember me. Remember what I did. Remember the hell I went through to get you in a position to be saved. He literally went through hell. He died on that tree and went to hell. Took the sting out of death. Took the keys from the grave. And got the heck up out of here. He opened the passage for us to be saved. <coughs> and we rather have a form of yawliness than not a part of the earth. We're not getting away with it, y'all. You're not going to get away with it. His sheep hear his voice. And a stranger they will not follow. If you belong to him, it's like the Pied Piper. When the word go forth, it will interrupt your life. Did you know the word will come and kick in your whole agenda and stop you in your tracks? Those that belong to Yah will stop and say, what the heck am I doing? And those that don't belong to him <clears throat> regret they came. <laughs> Why in the world did I uh, chime into this Facebook Live with this dude? Who he think he is? Look what it says. Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Mashiach unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Mashiach. That's more important to him. What's more important to him is that you honor the word. You killed him physically? Okay, that's cool. He came to do that. That's why he said forgive them for they know not what they do. But now it's that time for the nitty gritty. Them folks was blaspheming against his ministry, the word. And he told them you cannot be forgiven in this world, neither the world to come. Let me keep going, y'all. But let him examine himself. Who's being honest and examining yourself? And so, so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy 
eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Mashiach's body. You don't care what he did for you. Some people be thinking stuff like, uh, they think stuff like, uh, 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 I didn't ask him to. <laughs> I didn't ask him to do that. For me. I didn't ask to be here. Okay. That's a wicked heart. That ain't gonna get you nowhere. You're here. And, 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 and actually the blessing looking kind of like a curse right now when you're wicked and evil. The blessing to be his original children promise, yeah, you get a bigger whooping, but but he, he really loves you and he wants to rescue you. You're the apple of his eye. And because of the sins of our forefathers is why we're in the mess we're in. So when you look around and see your surroundings, don't be surprised. When things that are not working... The, the devil is running it right now. This is the time of the Gentile. The evil Esau, uh, uh, Japheth, <coughs> fake Jew, is running it. The devil is the prince of the air. His children is the prince of the airwaves. They, they're the one control uh, social media, television, movies, music. Education, they're the ones that got you uh, messed the heck up, jacked you for your identity. You don't know who you are. You think you're a Gentile. Some of us think we're Muslims. We're, we're, we're serving wood and stone. Uh, a wood, the unk, you know, the, the new unk is the cross. He was actually hung on a tree, which is a, a, a stake, a struos in Greek, a stake, a tree. According to the word, if you study it. And, 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 and a stone, the Ankh, over there in, in, in Mecca, there's a cobblestone. Folks thinking they're Muslims. Now folks getting back into Egyptology. We was, I mean, we just all messed up. But if we repent, if we repent and remember what this thing is all about, what life really is about, mankind is corrupt. That's why you can't trust nobody, and that's why it's so wicked. Mankind is corrupt, and people are no good. Period. None good. No, not one. People are no good, but the Most High came to rescue. And he's calling his children out of the darkness into the marvelous light. Some people think they're having fun in the darkness. They're living in the darkness and they want to stay there. Just like when he rescued uh, uh, Israel out of Egypt, they didn't like their circumstance, so they wanted to go back. Mm -hmm. They was plotting to kill Moses and Aaron. Let's kill these jokers. Okay, what they was doing to us. You got some folks, when I teach stuff like this, they accuse me of being prejudiced. Man, you got the game twisted. I love everybody. Uh, it's not my, look, it is what it is. It is what it is. And anybody can be saved who repent, period. Care what color you are. There is a, a people that's black, Negroes, that was shipped into slavery that belonged to him. All the characters were Negroes as well. And they just whitewashed it. They switched, they flipped the script, jacked you for identity. Pimped you out, enslaved you, dogged you the heck out, and now it, it, we're in a season where the Most High is waking us up, Calls, calling us out of, for the lack of a better term, y'all, Christianity or Catholicism or the tainted form of Christianity would sound better to most people. But the tainted part, we, he calling us out of that into a true relationship, and we need to repent. Gentiles still can be grafted in right now through faith. So they got to get out of the Catholicized state of mind, which the, the truth of the word tainted with the Roman Catholic Church twist on it. With all these satanic holiday, Christmas and Easter and, and Valentine's Day, got us celebrating things where they was killing the children of Israel. Dogging us out. We just twisted as heck. We don't know who we are, whose we are. We just throw up. But we, we searching like never before right now. Some folks is headed in the wrong direction, but he going to come get them. Because his, his sheep, his children hear his voice and the stranger they won't follow. They're going to wake up. The scales going to fall off their eyes just like it with Saul. Shaul was on his road to Damascus to get some letters from the fake, fake uh, Talmudic Jews to kill believers. When the Most High knocked him off his donkey and, and revealed the true word to him. When he, when he blinded him, there were scales on his eyes. But when Ananias came and prayed for him, the scales fell off. He woke up spiritually. And it's time for the scales to fall off our eyes. We got to wake up spirit. Get your butt out the doggone bed with your crazy self.
You're going to pay for it if you don't. Get off them drugs. Quit. Come on. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another so much the more as you see the day approaching. Communion is fellowship. And, and, and that's what it means. By definition, communion is fellowship. And when we come together, he's in the midst. And what he's doing is he's getting in your business. He's trying to rescue you from you. And either you're going to do it or you ain't. Because if you blow to him, you will. And if you don't, you ain't. Ain't no wrestling match. It's either you belong to him or you don't. True word makes you mad. True word makes his children glad. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, let him examine himself, so let him eat eat of that bread. Twenty eight, y'all. <laughs> when the word comes, you gotta examine yourself. You gotta be honest with yourself. If you're lying enough or not, then you gotta be honest with yourself. That if you're not lying enough, are you willing to? What will it profit a man to gain the whole world, lose his soul, or will a man give exchange for his soul? Because there's some people that will trade it in, even to deceive themselves. I'm not trading it in yet. Who you fooling <coughs> besides yourself? You'll do nothing. He say. And yet you always want to talk spiritual. Man, be quiet, man. Say that for somebody that believe that mess. Say that for somebody ignorant. Those are the called out dark in the Mark's life, looking out the darkness all through your dog on life, and you want to pray over your food and talk about how good God is. You don't do nothing he say. Oh, God is good. <laughs> okay. He that y'all is good. Don't get it twisted. You ain't. And you ain't and you ain't serving him. Who are you fooling? Oh, I thank God. Ooh, I thank God for my opportunity to be in that movie. I always wanted to go to bed with Sylvester Stallone, and he tore my butt up. And <laughs> oh, that was a good movie. He didn't do it for real, but boy, show sure looked real, and I sure wanted him to. And I thank God. Thank God for that album. It went platinum. You killed everybody in the world on that dog. You didn't ran through the. You didn't slap folks, mama. Sought all the dope, killed all your enemies. You did everything wicked. You want to thank God for the strength to do. Come on, somebody. We got to wake up. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning uh, the Mashiach's body. For this cause, because of this, we're almost done, y'all. About five more minutes, probably. But for this cause, many are sickly. Anybody sick? For this cause, many are, are sickly. That don't mean because you're sick. That don't mean you're sinning. But that don't mean you ain't. <laughs> but, but, but keeping things in this perspective, because people that do obey Yah do get sick. We're going to leave here one way or another. When your time is up, your time is up. But he's saying because of sin right here, because of our disobedience to the Most High, when, 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 when the hammer fall on our life and things go chaotic, we want to act like we don't know what happened. You might not because you blind as heck, you heck of disobedience, mm -hmm. and the word teaches that sin is deceitful. You'll be going against the most high but still expecting good. And because he's been good to you why you've been dogging him out and disrespecting him, you expect him to continue to do it. Well, Ecclesiastes teaches... It, it, be, uh, uh, because the, the judgment of Yah isn't executed expediently and set in the heart of man to do wicked because he reigns on the just as well as the unjust he's doing good even to wicked people and they believe that he's so good that he's overlooking their wickedness no that gives you a, 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 a elbow room to repent but but the the wickedness of people take kindness for weakness right. thinking I'm getting away with it because he's still blessing me You've been deceived. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, you ain't going to be honest with yourself? Can the scandalous say, all man? For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Mashiach's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. All right, this is going to be the last scripture, y'all. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we're chasing the Yah that we should not be condemned with the world. For if we judge ourselves, you don't want him to do it. <coughs> be honest. For if we judge ourselves, then we won't be judged. So communion, get rid of the cracker, 
and a little Welch's grape juice, slide that to the side. When, you, when the word come forth and you refuse to repent, that's witchcraft, that's stubbornness. You hear the word, you decide, I ain't doing it. I'm just not going to do it. Now, I still will pray over my food, you know, you know I'll pray before I go to bed. Do good deeds every now and then, but I ain't doing all that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> he that judges himself, meaning when the word come, you're going to look at it, and if you need to make adjustments, you're going to repent and make the adjustments. You judge yourself. Not just admit you're wrong, but when a judge, Lord, that gavel, he comes to a determination. It's judged. I'm wrong and I'm going to stop. See, that's why Proverbs says, uh, he that covers his sins will not prosper. But he that confess, admit it, and forsake, you got to stop, shall have mercy. That's the key. You got to admit it and then stop. So he that judge himself, you ain't got to tell me I'm out of pocket. I'm looking at myself. I'm out of pocket. And I need to stop. Yeah, I can't do that. I can't continue to do that. Thanks for having mercy on me. Because his judgment wasn't executed expediently. He didn't come get me immediately. That gave me up on him. You know what? You better stop. <laughs> you better uh, you better not take another step in that direction. You better stop. Tomorrow I promise to nobody. If we judge ourselves, then he said, I ain't going to mess with you. I already did what I came for you. I did everything I do for you. I did it. You want it? If we judge ourselves, then we're not going to be judged. I'm not messing with you. I just want to bless you. But when you belong to him, it went on to say, when you're judged, okay, now you ain't going to do it. Then don't trip when you end up in a wheelchair or blind. Lose a child or arm or an eye. Or they say you got cancer, diabetes. diabetes. <laughs> or when the bombs start flying. End up in, a, in prison or in a concentration camp. No, 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 don't start crying now. If we judge ourselves, he ain't going to mess with you. But when you belong to him. Now, uh, uh, what is it? Hebrews 12 teaches that if you be without chastisement, no, you bastards and not sons. See, there's some people that really belong to him. And he's dealing with them. That's why they're doing worse on the planet. And he the one to ship them into that situation. The Most High did that. Because of the disobedience. Because they belong to him. He said, I'm married to the backslider. So you care about what your wife do. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I'm not tripping off what the neighbor, that's his wife. That's the devil's wife. That's the devil's children. Now they can stop being the devil's children by being grafted into Israel through faith. But I'm dealing directly with my children. My children, you better not, you ain't getting away with it. You're not getting away. Do you if you want to. You ain't, you ain't getting away with nothing. You're not getting away with, if there's a certain way that wives should treat their husbands and you don't, you think you're getting away with it? No, you're not. Husbands, if there's a certain way you're supposed to treat your wife, you're not getting away with it. That's right. You think you are because he didn't, he ain't slammed them. Or when he do slam on you, you ain't even smart enough to know why he did it. Something go wrong and you just blame it on the rain. <laughs> no, he's choking you. Things go wrong. The bottom fall out of it. Again. Why? If you judge yourself, then you won't be judged. But when you're judged, you're chasing. Now I'm going to come get you. You're chasing the Yah. Why? That you won't be condemned with the world. He do not want you to leave this planet and he have to give you eternal damnation. You complaining about the blessing, complaining about being his children, he going to set you up even though you stiff neck and hard headed. In my closing, when Israel was in Egypt, they weren't crying out for the Most High. He said Moses to wake their game up. They weren't even tripping off the Most High. At that point, they probably didn't know who he was. <coughs> but they belonged to him. He was keeping a promise to Abraham. And this was pre the covenant that they entered in on, on their own accord in the wilderness. When they got out of Egypt, they literally entered to a covenant agreement, put the blood on them, and said, we will obey you. He went and got them based on them being the bloodline of Abraham. 
430 years before. 400 years before. Some of us belong to him whether we want to or not. <laughs> it's actually a blessing. <laughs> but everybody got a shot at it. Yeah. Through faith. They've been preaching it. Then when they found out the Negro is the true Jew, they got mad as I don't know. It don't matter. Even Negro said, it don't matter. You silly. It's, you true. homeless carrying your slave master name. It don't matter. You ignorant as please. If you don't hurry up, wake up. Back up. <laughs> Go wake up or something. Let me pray for you. It don't matter as long as you got Jesus. I don't want to hear it. Ah! Satan, you're a racist. It's your homeless lost. <laughs> you homeless and lost. You belong to the to the Brucem family. Ah, I don't want to hear it. I was I'm a Johnson. I was just. just. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a John. My my daddy. My daddy's daddy. That daddy's tracing back to our slave master. We are Johnsons. Okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. But it do matter, y'all. Yeah, it do. It do matter. If we judge ourselves, be honest with yourself. If you live in filthy, repent. Mm -hmm. If you like churchy, heck of churchy, repent. Mm -hmm. Get a true relationship. Uh, graduate from religion to a true relationship. Yah loves you. I pray the word found you and combed your hair. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Hundreds we know how gleaning in the true definition of communion once again. We pray that your word went forth with clarity, falling down the souls of your children, speaking of an everlasting life. Cause your children that love you not to be the same, even on the conclusion of this message. We just believe you, and we're in celebration mode. And we trust, believe, and thank you. In the master's name of Yahushua HaMashiach, when we pray, hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. Listen, y'all, if the lesson blessed you, the easiest thing in the world to do nowadays is go witnessing. Because all you got to do is put share. You ain't got to put your little shoes on. Well, share. Just that easy. You ain't got to put no shoes on your fingers or nothing. No dog going to chase you. Ain't nobody going to cuss you out for ringing their doorbell. Just put share. If the lesson bless you, put share. Because if it blessed you, it will definitely, uh, nine times out of ten, it might bless somebody else. Um, if you want to talk with us, we're finna get up out of here. But if you want to, you can dial 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202. 1102 extension 815648 and chop it up with us. If not, keep that number because we're on there Monday through Friday at um, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And you can uh, chime in and hang out with us. We're also back on there Mondays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Mondays and Wednesdays, rather. Mondays and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. on the same line. And, of course, we'll be on Facebook Live. We pray that you got some out of lesson. If you're looking for a good ministry to sow into and you, and you believe this is one, you can go to PayPal, put in DerekMan5857 at Yahoo.com. That's D-E-R-R-I-C-K-M-A-N-N 5857 at Yahoo.com. Thanks for hanging out with us. Y'all be Baruch. Push share and Baraka Shalom.